folks, it's Doc's Market Minute for Tuesday, August 4th. I just thought I'd show a little follow-up on the earnings trade yesterday from CTRP. What we had originally was the price was around in this area. I think it was 72 or 73. And we factored in about an 8-point move, positive or negative. So we had about a 16-point range for profitability on this trade. And so far, we're starting to see uh, a pretty strong move to the upside. Now, what we're already also seeing is the implied volatility is collapsing of those options. And this is what happens when options have that rise in implied volatility right before some type of announcement. And as soon as it comes out, all that air comes out of the balloon. And this is what's benefiting a short Vega trade like this, like an iron condor. So the price looks pretty strong. I don't want to overstay my welcome in this position. I've got my fair share, and that's good enough. We'll just look for the next setup. Now let's go over to the S&P 500. What is the next move for the S&P here? Well, a lot of it depends on what occurs in this little box in the price, right? This is how we frame in the price action. So far, what's happening is off a of bounce off the bottom, this is nothing more than a lower high, which is not necessarily good. Now, if we look one time frame down to the 78 minute chart, which is five times faster than the daily chart, what we saw was the price in an uptrend here. So far, this is nothing more than a higher low, but then the price bounced from here and it's a lower high. So if the price actually undercuts this level right there, then what we have is a change in polarity on the 78 minute chart, which could spill over to the daily chart. So that'll be uh, potentially that lower high kicking in the gear if it breaks below that range, which is the, the bottom of the blue box here. So this is just what this market does. Every time we see a nice rally and get everybody all excited up here, thinking that we're gonna be going for a higher prices, the bottom falls out. And every time we probe into new lows and everybody gets bearish and starts to investigate bearish strategies, all of a sudden they get squeezed out to the upside. So this market, this is just what's going on. If you pull back and look at a larger picture of what's going on, just a sideways market. But the thing that we have to be cautious of here is the broadening pattern. The volatility, the realized volatility is starting to pick up and that is a hallmark of markets about to enter a corrective pattern. So be cautious, be aware of any potential bias that you have because you could be drastically wrong if the market breaks in the opposite direction from what you expect. That's today's Market Minute. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.